Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. What I want to do in today's video is talk about PWM control. It's pulse width modulation control. What's it mean? How can it be implied in your car? What use is it? Well, if you control the speed of things like pumps and fans, PWM controls the best way to do it. If you have a programmable engine management system and it controls, say, a fan or a pump, that's probably how it's doing it, if it varies its speed. But how is it doing it, and what's the implications for you? Well, let's take a look at some graphs that I've drawn up on the whiteboard. Now, what we're going to be doing is turning the voltage on and off that's actually going to the device. And we're going to turn it on and off for different amounts of time. Let's have a look at the top graph. Up the top, we've got voltage is on. Down the bottom, we've got voltage is off. And you can see I've done a digital signal. It's on or off. Now, up here, it's on. Down there, it's off. Up here, it's on. Down there, it's off. Up here, it's on. Down there, it's off. But look carefully. See how the amount of time it's on is different to the amount of time it's off. I'm going to highlight where it's on. It's on there. It's on there. And it's on there. Now, you can see it's on for more than it's off. What we do is we look at the proportion of time it's on compared with the proportion of time it's off. Now, looking at this, it might be on for about 80% of the time. Would you agree something like that? Okay, what it means is that the device gets 80% of battery voltage. It doesn't get full battery voltage, it doesn't get zero, it gets 80%. If the duty cycle, how long it's on for, is 80%, that's what proportion of the battery voltage it gets. So our pump or our fan's going to be going pretty fast, isn't it? Now, let's look at the next graph. Here, we can see the on times are much shorter. Let me highlight the on times. On, 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 on. Now, you can see the on times are probably only 10% of the off times. So what we've got is we've got on for only a short time, so battery voltage, what the, the device actually sees is going to be much, much lower. If the on time is only 10%, then it's only going to see 10% of battery voltage. And actually, that's pretty low. Most pumps or fans would be stopped if they were seeing only 10% of battery voltage. Now, these red things are the duty cycle, what proportion of time the signal is on when it's being fed to this pump or fan. If we had a duty cycle of 50% and we had a battery voltage of 12 volts, then the device would see 6 volts. So you can see the proportion directly associated with the battery voltage. Now, by controlling the switching transistor that's feeding current to this load, we can control the duty cycle, what proportion of time the signal is on for, so we can then control the speed of the fan or the pump or the brightness of the light bulb or whatever it might be. There's one other thing to look at as well. We've talked a bit about duty cycle, but there's another element, and that's frequency. How often the on-offs are occurring. Let's have a look at that. So there's one cycle. One on and one off. There's one cycle, one on and one off. Now, how quickly these cycles occur is called the frequency, and the frequency on most pulse width modulator control systems is quite high. 100 hertz, 100 times a second, maybe even 1,000 times a second. Now, think about this. Think about a controlling of a fan. If we're switching the voltage on and off a thousand times a second, it's, it's going to act as if it's just an average, isn't it? It's, it's not going to be able to see those thousand different pulses. The inertia of the rotating armature is not going to be constantly changing in speed. So if we pulse width modulate at a high frequency, we can get very smooth control. Smooth control of motors, smooth control of fans, and so on. It's what I do in my own car. I run a water-air intercooler system, and I control pump speed. So when the intake air temperature is high, and when I'm using a lot of throttle, then the pump's running fast. When the intake air temperature is high, but I'm not using much throttle, the pump's running more slowly. It's still ticking over because I still want that water going around that particular circuit. So I can smoothly and steplessly control the speed of that pump using an output from the programmable management system. Pulse width modulation control, variable duty cycle, and usually at a fixed frequency, stepless control of items like pumps, fans, and lights. It's all in the book, 
Car Electrical and Electronic Systems, and I recommend that book to you. Thank you.